I've got some notes, so I'm gonna so I don't go off my what I really want to share. But one of the blessings of going through this uh, program at my age is that my social security check is gonna pay for most of my uh, <laughs> most of my debt. So <laughs> oh, Kathy Troll, yeah, that's for the government, I guess. Uh, during uh, his last week on earth, Jesus uh, instructed his disciples. This is my command that you love one another as I have loved you. No longer do I call you servants, but I have called you friends. And thank you, professors and administrators, for loving me as Christ has loved you, not only as a student, but as a friend. And a special shout out to uh, Dr. Wes Johnson and, and Catherine and their church that has been so supportive uh, in this journey. Uh, this is my seventh college that I've actually attended, and uh, there's been no other college like this one, full of compassion and care and love and patience and encouragement. Uh, I've not experienced that anywhere else. Um, and a shout out to my husband and my sons who uh, loved me through this and encouraged me, and, and uh, I couldn't have done this without their help. One of the biggest takeaways uh, from this past five years has been my own personal transformation, as many of you already know that, in your own life. In 2011, as I was preparing for Overture 2, and I was so jazzed to go to the Middle East and go to Egypt and, uh, and really uh, see what it's like uh, in, in that part of the world and, and touching Muslims, uh, I was diagnosed with cancer. And my thought was, well, Lord, this is kind of a game changer. Now what? And I was so thankful that BGU has uh, the DTL program. I was in the DMIN, and I could transfer to the, to the DTL program. Uh, and it, that, in that respect, I didn't have to necessarily go uh, on another overture. Um, but during those months of surgery and treatments, radiation treatments, um, I began to really understand the importance of community. And unbeknownst to probably the professors and the students that were in that class, I had signed up for a weavings course that lasted nine months, and it was 12 credit course. And God knew exactly what I needed, because during those nine months, uh, those professors and students became my support group uh, as I was going through all of that. Um, and another thing, not only community, but uh, I think what was really brought home to me through, uh, through the courses that I took uh, in this particular class was understanding what it is to be silent before God and to listen to his voice uh, and prayerful reading of scripture. I love what Henry Nolan says, that we do not take the spiritual life seriously if we do not set aside time to be with God and to listen to him. Over the course of the nine months, I've learned to quiet my soul and to listen to the still, small voice within. And I do want to share just um, this poem that I think is so appropriate. This is, um, this is from Ken Medema. Teach me to stop and listen. Teach me to center down. Teach me the use of silence. Teach me where peace is found. Teach me to hear your calling. Teach me to search your word. Teach me to hear in silence things I've never heard. Teach, to me, teach me to be collected. Teach me to be in tune. Teach me to be directed. Silence will end so soon. Then when it's time for moving, grant it that I might bring to every day and moment peace from a silent spring. Thank you, BGU, for teaching me.